Hey guys, great to be with you again on these Tuesday Talks and thank you, I can't thank you enough for joining me and your encouraging messages and how in the past you've shared uh, onto your Facebook page and encouraged others to watch and listen. And because, you know, together we will get the message out and, and that's what it's all about. You know, while it is, while it is still day you know while it is still uh, time in god's grace to reach out to as many people as possible so remember this we're just going to keep it as brief as we can because i know your time is precious and my time is precious but just stay with this and uh, share it on your page share it wherever you are put the thumbs up make comments because together as we've said just now we can get the message out well i the as i say the, today's theme is the great invitation and uh, the great invitation comes from um a number of sayings that Jesus said but the key word the key word I want you to get the key word is come Jesus said on a number of times he said come and see if you're thirsty come uh, and so he invites us to come this is the great invitation uh, and we won't fit in in this broadcast all that needs to be said on this and so we will revisit this but today we're going to land as it were in Matthew 11 and these verses that I'm going to read to us in a moment really impacted me the other day I really had amazing download from God on these verses so stay tuned because God's going to really speak into your life I really believe that so we're going over into Matthew 11 and I'm going to read these verses and in some ways um, in church land in biblical land you know people if you're used to your Bibles you'll be aware of these verses <coughs> excuse me you'll be aware uh, but maybe You've tuned in today and you, 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 you haven't even got a Bible, perhaps. And so I'm not going to say, oh, we're familiar with these verses, because we may not be. They may be verses that we're going to, uh, we, we'll see for the first time. So if you have a Bible, if not, by the way, if you've not got a Bible and you've got a, uh, a f iPhone or a Android, you can download uh, the app. You version and it's a free app and you'll get access to all sorts of translations of the bible and bible plans can i encourage you to do that and you more mature christians let's get involved let's that they're doing an amazing job i think wow let's have many people download a new version app Good on you, you version. Keep going, and may you have many supporters uh, and financial supporters as well. Anyway, we should have found Matthew 11 by now, and we're picking it up in verse 28. Time won't allow us to go into context here. Just this is a, remember. This is a devotional. Remember, this is just uh, just to, to get us into the scriptures, to get us going. Uh, as a you know a shot in the arm as it were so it says here Jesus verse 28 and Jesus speaks to the crowd and he says come here's the invitation here's the great invitation come to me we often go into all the wrong places don't we do, do, we often put Jesus last and not first Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Are you heavy laden? Are you weary? Come to him. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you 
and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. There can be some confusion over these verses uh, that somehow come to Jesus and it's easy, easy. Uh, so it's called cheap grace. It's called, you can live as you like, just come to him. He loves you. Well, he does love you and he's proved it by dying on the cross. But it's not cheap, easy grace. We need to understand in these brief moments about the yoke. In the uh, Old Testament, in the uh, uh, and following the rabbis, the yoke of the Torah or the yoke of the uh, rabbi, the teaching of the rabbi, and it was a wonderful thing. But the problem was there was extra, extra burdens, and so you, you had to do this and another layer and another layer. And the poor old folks, the people, they just couldn't do it. In actual fact, nobody had kept the law. Peter says this later on, and Paul does as well, that nobody had kept the law and, and that the whole purpose of the law was to show us that we couldn't keep it, to show us we needed Jesus and he to take the burden for us. You got that so far? So Jesus addresses the crowd and he, he's not saying we shouldn't be seeking to walk right and it doesn't matter how you walk anymore he's saying my yoke is easy and my burden is light what does that easy look like well jesus said in other places and you check it out you search google he says take up my cross and follow me he said that uh, it wasn't just what we did on the outside it's what we did on the inside in fact he, he talked about it's not like uh, just when he talks about adultery, he says it doesn't, it's not about just committing adultery. It's what's going on in your heart. And so you can, even if you look uh, and even if you're angry and you've got murder in your heart. So in a, in a sense, his teaching was far, far harsher, if you like. Um, so hey, we, we just need to unpack. It's not easy. And I want to tell you something. It is not easy. It's not cheap. To follow Jesus but I tell you what it's worth it every inch of the way it's worth it and we let let me just unpack this and let me unpack this I just feel that some excitement in my spirit so the extremes all we always get extremes you get the extreme legalism you so we come to faith and then well you gotta you gotta do this you gotta do that you gotta do the other and, and then uh, th th then you get God's approval. Well, that's not the gospel. And then you get the other side as license. Well, you, Jesus paid the price for all your sins. You don't have to. This is called hyper grace. You don't have to confess any more sins because he's paid the price for them all. Once you come to faith, that is wrong. And if you're teaching that or you're hooked up to that kind of teaching, get out of it now. That's not good. It's not healthy. So there's the legalism on the one side. You must, you must, you must. And there's the license on the other side. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Cheap, easy grace. But right down the middle, Jesus offers liberty, freedom. My yoke is easy, he says. And if you want to check out the book, uh, the letter of Galatians, it's all about this. It's all about, it's wonderful, uh, six chapters uh, in Paul's letter. And he talks about le the legalists on the one side. And he talks about those who are in license saying, it doesn't matter if you do all sorts of things. Jesus loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's saying, how do you just, oh, all that was wrong. And in Galatians 5, it says it was for freedom that Christ has set us free. He set us free from legalism. He set us free from license. He set us free so that we can follow him. How good is that? How good is that? So Jesus says, my yoke is easy. So how is Jesus' yoke easy? Good question. I'm glad you asked it. It's easy because... We, we, we kind of don't understand with our modern ag agricultural stuff today how this works. But a yoke was put on the beast of burden that would pull the plough. But they would have two oxen yoked together. 
and they would bear the weight together. And they would be equally yoked, and the Bible talks about that, to be not being unequally yoked, etc. With unbelievers and not being unequally yoked in business, and it's all there. So Jesus says, come and take my yoke. What does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means as near, uh, as we are yoked to Jesus, who's carrying the burden? Jesus. He carries my burden. He carries your burden. And when he went to the cross, he took our sin and sickness. Oh, my word. We just have to be yoked to him. Yes, we pay a price. Yes, we'll, people will come up against us. Yes, uh, there, there are people that uh, will have already had to lay down their lives and there'll be others, maybe. We know that's happening in different worlds where there is a political regime or religious regime that's anti-Christian. So it's not cheap, easy grace, but it is whatever we're going through, we yoke to Jesus. Friends, Whatever you're going through right now, don't, you can't carry it on your own. I want you to get this. You can't carry it on your own. Get yoked, get connected to Jesus today. Those of you who used to walk with Jesus, but you know, you took the yoke off and you thought, I can't do this anymore. Or you got some teaching that was legalistic. and Or you made some mistakes and you don't think there's a way back. Well, there's always a way back, friends. This is called the age of grace. And until Jesus comes back, we are in the age of grace. That means God's mercy. And every day, every day is God's mercy. We can come back to him right now. You can come back to him wherever you are, wherever you're watching this. And whatever time of day you're watching this, you can come back to him. Come back to him. Take my yoke upon you. For my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Because, you know, he said, I will carry you. You said, I am with you to the end of the age. He's with us, friends. He's ne he'll never leave us or forsake us. Our responsibility is to make sure that we're yoked to Jesus. Are you yoked to him today? Do you want to be? You can be. And so I would encourage you to maybe meditate on these verses. Meditate uh, on this Matthew 28, uh, Matthew 11, 28, and come to him. Come, receive accept the great invitation and come come accept the great invitation and take his yoke to take my yoke he's the burden bearer and he took a massive yoke didn't he the yoke of the cross they nailed him he had to carry his cross cross beam and then they nailed him to that crossbar, taking our sin, our suffering. Come to him today. Receive his yoke. For my burden is easy. My burden is light. Take his yoke. Get rid of the yoke of stuff that holds you back. Amen. Now, listen, if this has blessed you and helped you, I'd love to hear from you. Just message me. And uh, if I can, if it's possible, I will respond to your message. But let me encourage you. Download the YouVersion app. Find some little Bible plans that are out there. Get yoked to Jesus. Get yoked up with some other Jesus people. Find a church that's on fire for Jesus. If you're in the Eastbourne area, connect with me and I'll point you in the right direction. Amen. And elsewhere as well, I know some great churches. 
uh, in, ver in various places around this country. So let's get yoked to Jesus. Let's get yoked together and to let him carry the load. Let us enjoy the ride in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray and wish you good day. Father, I just thank you today that you're speaking into the hearts and minds and lives of those who are watching this broadcast. And I thank you that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. And you know those ones that are carrying those heavy burdens. Help them to offload their burden and take your yoke upon them. Help them to offload that burden of financial worry, of health worry, of family concerns, of personal worries. Help them to lay that burden upon you and help them to take up that yoke and follow you and to know the lightness and to know the ease and the shalom and the peace of God in their spirit, soul and body. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Until the next time.